what's the situation between you and Drake? Do you guys have beef? Are you guys cool? Like, what? What's the situation? <laughs> what's what's uh, going on? All right, I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna, I, I, I was waiting on this. Talk to me. I was waiting for you at the door. Yes. <laughs> uh, me <All> too. Right. <laughs> all right. So look, um, the nigga hit up. I'm, I'm like, like I ain't even on that snitch and that shit. Keep a blood raw. Keep I, a blood raw. I, I, I got to cause like. I don't want nobody coming at me crazy. You feel me? Like, like, like I saw it, bro. You feel me? Like I wasn't, like I was in the wrong. Bro, I hit up a DJ that I fought with. Who I did? Know. Drake. Okay. Drake hit up a DJ that I fought with. You feel me? And and bro told me, um, he was like, yo, the nigga Drake watched your interview. He said he fuck with you and he fought with your partner Ski Mask. He's like, yo, he's saying he go call your manager within the next few days. Okay. So I'm, I'm, bro, I'm amped up, nigga. I fuck with Drake. Yeah. You feel me? Drake a genius. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm. D- despite despite me disrespecting him as a man, because I can't respect him as a man, I respect that nigga career. That's yeah. a goat. Okay. That's a goat. So you he, know how to differentiate yeah, the two? I know. I, corporately, that nigga is the goat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I knew what I was doing when I said what I said, and I knew how to approach him. Because I know where he can't beat me at. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So initially, he was supposed to contact one of my managers. So he doesn't do it. That same fucking week, bro. I go on to, well, I can't go on to the obviously because I'm locked up. But yeah. I'm on the securest phone, you feel me? That's crazy. When you in jail, people checking for you, the, the cult following huh. is like, yo, what's good? You still buzzing in these streets. And what were you thinking in your mind when you can't access it? Like, like that must be a crazy feeling. I, like I said, I was I was really, really, really big on, on being inside of my mind. Yeah. Like astral projection and, and meditation and things of that sort. So it was never, it, w- it was a problem because... It was a problem for the reason that I wanted to be with my family and the people I love. You know what I'm saying? And, and I wanted to be able to express that. I wanted to be able to feed off the energy of my family. Now, as far as anything that revolved around my career, mm-hmm. I knew it could wait. Okay, got I, it. I know what you feel me like. It's it's a difference between being an artist and being a rapper. Yeah. Some of these niggas could hop on the hop on the radio and be gone the next day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they could they could try and be on the top, but they can't maintain it. I can maintain. Just like, it's like DJ DJ Keller said, you feel me? Mm-hmm. He he made for this shit. I'm made for this shit. So you in jail? He's supposed to contact your manager, and yeah. then what he, happened? He, I mean, he, he dropped a fucking video, a preview of that shit in Amsterdam with some, with some with some nigga from from the UK. You know what I'm saying? He dropped he dropped the video. I was talking to um I was talking to my girl at the time, not not the same bitch that got me arrested, different girl. Okay. I was talking to her at the time, and she was like, yo. Listen to no, actually, fuck that. It was my dog Chris. I was on the phone with my dog Chris. He was like, "Yo, you gotta listen to this shit. This nigga Drake a fuck nigga." That's what exactly what he said. He's like, this nigga Drake a fuck nigga. You gotta listen to this shit. So he plays this shit. I hear da 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 my da. I'm like, what the fuck? As soon as it started, like I knew, I knew he was getting that. And the funny thing is, we didn't discover it. The fan, like you said, the fans, because the, they're, they're they're so cold. Like it's like, I got a piece of the internet. You feel me? So they were saying that Drake was biting your style. <sighs> Definitely. That's what the fans were saying. Yeah. Uh, Flow, hell yeah, bro. You could you could take his verse like they did a mashup. They put his verse on my song, and they the cadence is literally just at the same tempo. You, it, it's not off beat at all. And you could if you listen to my song and then you listen to the bro song, like you, you could. T- bro, we we all Let's not see. dumb. You, yeah, go. Isn't the mashup on your Instagram page? No, that's it's, not. That's not the, okay, where is it? Where, where can we find it? Um, you can just look up XXX Tentacion Drake. Tentacion Drake. Just, or just look up Drake mashup <laughs> or something. So now, where do you guys stand? Like, what's good now? I, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. As oh. A, as a, as a, no, I'm keeping a blood roll. I, I still think Drake a fuck nigga. Like, I think he, he's a, he's not a man. I think he's a, a bitch. That's a bitch move. Especially when I was in jail facing facing life, bro. You get what I'm saying? If Drake would have came to my, my barn here, you know what I'm saying? That would have made my fucking day. If he if he would have showed that he he's a hospitable person and that he's really in this shit for the culture, rather than being a fuck nigga taking my shit, running off with it, and then putting it on his album, then he would have got my kudos. He would have got my respect. I would I would have let him hop on the remix, take a hundred percent royalty rate. I would have done it. 